today's video, we're going to take another look at the, uh, the new Giga Nevada expansion um, project for the Tesla semi volume production. This is now confirmed by Tesla on their conference call to be the location for a separate um, standalone building rather than the original $3.6 billion expansion announced a year ago and for which we hadn't seen any progress. We now know that that particular plan is on hold. A lot of people on social media are not up to date and still think that um, the expansion is going to be attached to the um, Gigafactory, to the existing Gigafactory, which is behind this, and you, you can see it in a little bit here. You can see the uh, existing factory. Anyway, these new culvert pipes, I mean, these two new um, entrances are going to relieve um, congestion at the already crowd, crowded existing main gate. So that's going to be, I think, very efficient for them to uh, have these two separate entrances. Um, the, uh, the other thing I noticed is they seem to have dropped the elevation. It, in the last two weeks, um, it, with all, those, all that heavy equipment working, when I first looked at this, I wasn't quite sure what they had done. But I think they've dropped the entire area for the new building, um, dropped the elevation by a, a dozen feet from the old warehouse on wheels that it used to be a part of. That, and uh, you'll see in a little bit, um, what the old warehouse on wheels looked like for um, comparison. If you don't know what a warehouse on wheels is, it's, uh, you can look at a previous um, video of mine or where I got the original explanation for it was from Joe Tegmeyer and his excellent coverage of Giga Factory, uh, Texas. So um, here is a ground level view of one of those access roads that are being cut they're going to have to build a bridge or use culvert, giant culvert pipes to get across the ravine here. Um, as you can see by this view, even though this part of northern Nevada is a rain shadow and is like 4,200 foot high desert, um, occasionally it gets uh, torrential rains. And uh, th so they really need to plan for um, those events. This, these culvert pipes look like exactly that. Those are probably going to be used for drainage, like we've seen at Giga Texas. Um, they'll put in the culvert pipes first, and the other um, electrical conduits and water mains before they start the building. Personally, think that they'll um, have this building, the separate building, up by the end of June. Maybe we've seen them do it very quick. Um, in Giga Texas, so I do think that the end of June is put as a potential target for the for just the walls being up. This is an area where all those all that heavy equipment that was working down below in the foreground is now most of it's been moved up there. All all but a few excavators that are probably being used one to cut those two new roads, and also to uh, will be used to put in the culvert pipe. This is from a few weeks ago. Um, and you can kind of see where they still have a few of the trailers and the whole area seems to be the same elevation and uh, You'll see late in a later video uh, Of the old warehouse on wheels that the entire warehouse on wheels was one elevation now It looks to be two separate elevations. This is still older um, Video from when that construction first started, but it's still interesting to see and contrast with what the new uh, elevation looks like and that explains what they've done in two weeks since I've been able to um, fly the drone. Specifically I'm flying the drone straight up not on Tesla property. Here's the old warehouse on wheels and you can see it's a sea of trailers holding parts from suppliers and it's all the same elevation. This is the same exact area where the new this is the same exact area where the new warehouse on wheels. Sorry about that, I had a little audio difficulties. So the new special project could potentially be something that was mentioned by Bloomberg in the last week. Um, Tesla apparently has entered an agreement with CATL, the Chinese battery supplier, um, to purchase uh, production equipment only. It'll be owned by Tesla, and, I, and they mentioned that it'll be used as in, in Sparks, Nevada. 
So I believe at least one of the other projects is very likely going to be cattle LFP battery production, most likely used for the um, megacharger facility. And um, I think they have more room here than in Lathrop, and it does involve having to transport those um, batteries from here to, um, to Lathrop. But anyway, that's one of the potential new projects that um, it could be in store. If you notice, there was a light snow during this um, coverage. And um, basically, I think we've, uh, we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that and we'll check again in a, in a, as soon as possible and see what progress. I'd specifically like to see the technique they use to cross this wash, um, whether or not they use a culvert pipes backfilled or an actual bridge. And uh, with that, I'll leave it at that.